Sunset 80 is a beautiful TKL. They use some premium materials to set it apart. But is it worth the $485 price point? Let's talk about it. So this is a 10 keyless custom keyboard that comes neatly packaged and can be run in both plate and plateless configurations. Click Clack IO will be running the group by and it should be starting January 20th. We'll take a closer look at this gorgeous case in just a bit, but first let's see what comes in the package. In the kit, you're gonna get the full Sunset 80 case and it will be available in Obsidian Black, Moonlight Silver, and Bordeaux Red. You also get a 1.6 millimeter PCB. Now, quick note on that, the PCB that they sent me is 1.2 millimeters. But after some feedback from earlier build streams, Fox Lab decided to go with the 1.6 millimeter PCB to optimize the sound and feel. Since I don't have one on hand, I can't really say if it's gonna be better, similar, or worse than the configuration that I have. But from my experience, I'd assume it'd be slightly better, especially in the plateless configuration. Now the PCBs will be offered in the hot swap, which has a fixed layout, or you can go solder. The PCB was instantly recognized in Vial. This keyboard should come in a WKL F13 layout as well as a Windows key version with an F13 key. The assembly is mounted directly from the PCB and it uses pour-on gaskets that you'll need to apply to the top and bottom case. I did realize that there are these little cutouts in some of the gaskets. These are the gaskets that should be placed around the assembly alignment pins built into the top case. The plate that I received was polycarbonate with no flex cuts. You also get a pour-on sheet for the case, IXPE foam for that marbly sound, and you get pour on plate foam if you opt for the hot swap PCB. I have these in all different configurations in the typing test segment, so stay tuned for that. You also get the daughter board JST cable, screws and tools are included along with these interestingly shaped feet that come in both clear and black. I like the design, but I found that the board rocks a little bit on the desk. Nothing that is noticeable during typing at all, but something I thought I should point out. Okay, so let's talk about the case. First thing I noticed was how thin the side bezels are. I mean like really thin. I actually like the look of this more than I thought it would. It gives a real clean look. The top and bottom bezels are thicker with the top being slightly thicker than the bottom. The top case slides over the bottom case so there are no seams to be found adding to that clean and refined look. The front height is 18.5 millimeters with a 7.5 degree typing angle which is really nice to type on. Fully built the Sunset 80 comes in at a hefty 6.59 pounds. Now right underneath the navigation cluster, you'll find one of this board's standout features. It's this little sunset shaped light, which is supposed to depict a sunset halfway behind a river and a mountain. Not sure about all that, but it sure looks dope as hell. The centerpiece of this light fixture is made from titanium Damascus. The RGB is really nice and bright and well diffused, and you can configure the colors and effects to your preference. Now, when you flip the case around, you'll find some of the materials that drives this keyboard into that $485 price point. You have a stainless steel weight, which is beautifully mirrored polished on the outside and has a nice brushed finish on the inside of the case. For the side profile, you can see that bottom weight stick out just a bit, which I really love. It reminds me a bit of the Luna and the Shelby 80. Then you have this, a titanium Damascus weight. Yeah. Now Damascus is not cheap. In Fox Labs words, it's a composite material created from multiple pieces, layers of metal, titanium in this case, welded together and forged before being etched in acid to reveal a pattern of layers that can be seen on the material. So you can expect the finish and look of the Damascus weight you receive to look different than mine, which is pretty dope. So overall, I like the design of this board and I think it's gonna age really well. The typing experience of the Sunset 80 is actually really nice. Once again, I'm using the 1.2 millimeter PCB, so I can't say how the 1.6 millimeter PCB will change it, besides knowing that it's gonna be slightly stiffer, which if it provides better sound, I'm all for it. But speaking for what I have on hand, it's a very soft bottom out with plenty of flex. I think they did a great job of not overdoing the compression from the pour on gaskets, it's just right. In today's build, I use the Gateron Cream Sodas designed by my boy Punk Shu and these PBT Vintage Stamp keycaps by Create Keeps, which looks really nice. I'll link these in the description if you're interested. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, there are a couple of things that I noticed. First, there's a bit of case ping with this keyboard. It's slight, but it's there. Something that a force break mod can resolve, but I wanted to make sure to point that out. It's mostly noticeable with zero foam and possibly in a plateless build. It's very slight, so you may need headphones to pick it up, but check it out.
So the bottom case pour-on sheet doesn't alter the sound very much. I think it's more or less there to protect your PCB from contacting the bottom case to prevent shorting. Polyfill may be a better option. Let me know if you hear a difference. Now the plate foam brings the biggest improvement of sound and it's my favorite configuration. It really rounds everything out and eliminates a lot of that ping. And here's the final one with all the foams, including the IXPE sheet. Take a listen. So overall, I enjoyed my time with the Sunset 80. It's a gorgeous board and has a really nice typing feel and sounds pretty nice with the right foams. Now, is it worth $485? Well, that's up to you and your budget, but based on the use of Damascus and stainless steel, plus the finishing that they use on this product, I'd say it's fairly priced, if not slightly higher than expected. I hope that helps. Peace.